Hi, Kikai. I'm glad that you ate your kibbles. There's a few more to eat. There you go. <laughs> yeah, emo, 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 emo. Right, yeah, so, um, last night, actually this morning, upon waking up, she was, uh, she was happy though, but she was vomiting. Uh, vomiting, not solid food. And, uh, first of all, she did not eat much the night before. She ate a bit. She ate a bit, but it wasn't that much. And then this morning, she was, uh, she vomited at least, um, four times. It's not a solid food, of course, but it's uh, more liquidy and it's a whitish uh, liquidy and i started a bit becoming worried because she did not take any brekkie at all and then the energy was still there she was uh, wagging her tail and then um, i did not uh, think about taking her to the vet yeah this is my first official dog that's why i'm learning as i take care of her and then um, upon arriving school today, so she didn't eat anything at all. And I gave, I started even giving her a treat. She ignored it. And the, the kibbles now, and then the regular food that I made, actually it's my mom made. It has uh, white rice, white chicken, chicken meat. And uh, yeah, she didn't, but she's always excited about it. But this one, it's, she wasn't. So at lunchtime, so I walk here, and then uh, around around the block, and then uh, she did her regular thing, wagging her tail, walking, and jolly to be with me, just like what I mean, jolly to be with her. And um, she ignored the keyboards, but I left the treat here. That's, those are not the treat; those are the keyboards, and she ate some of them. And uh, before I left from uh, after my walk with her for lunch, she did uh, eat uh, the tree. It's a uh, it's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did I did a little bit of research. Is uh, it's not uncommon. This is my first dog, like what I said, not uncommon for dog uh, to do it um, once in a while, particularly if I've eaten something that made her stomach upset. It could be a, a lot of grass. So she, this dog doesn't eat a lot of grass, by the way. Uh, I don't even uh, take her to a grassy area like the dog park. You know, uh, I I just I took her there just a couple of times, but not much. You know, I don't let her to play around. Just with number one, <laughs> right? And then um, watering the the the, the dry the grasses. Anyway, so now she's better and i did a bit of research like what i said it's not uncommon so um if it's taking too long like about 48 hours and uh, others and does not eat or no drink she drank or there's some sort of diarrhea then it's something to be alerted anyway so kikai you're doing well she's doing well she should be all right so i just broke my fast another 40 hour fast start wednesday and then uh wednesday around five my last meal and it's uh today is uh friday almost five in the afternoon i came from work and once again i'm here at a petrol station and i need i need to refuel uh i'm driving to los banos and it's a three-day weekend it's a memorial day weekend and um, right after this uh, weekend uh monday uh, Tuesday is back on the grind but it's three days left and I'm done in other words the school year is over it's been 183 days I've been uh, walking and then uh, the summer is just really stone throw away and like what I said I've been heading off to uh, St. Helena which is a very remote island in the, the South Atlantic could be reached through um, Johannesburg in South Africa been to South Africa but this time I'm going to say a bit longer since I take advantage I am heading to South Africa Johannesburg to take uh, the plane to uh, Jamestown the capital city of St. Helena all is set and I do not have uh, the 
the set trip after this uh, but i am planning and thinking after the uh south africa in uh say helena this summer because i'm leaving uh, the last week of july and returning back oops low battery and returning back first no last week of june and then frame back uh first week of july i still have about a month and then i'm thinking maybe kazakh um, no not kazakhstan i was there before uzbekistan and uh kyrgyzstan and thinking of hopping to the philippines once again all right so i uh, i'm breaking my fast like was said and uh 48 hour fast uh, has been uh, fabulous and i've seen a lot of results and uh, one of the most um, important results that i'm getting is um i'm the, the mind is focused <laughs> right but i gotta be mellow you know it makes you mellow gentle keep calm and uh, I, it's really truly true that if it during a prolonged fasting, your hunger is suppressed. Uh, the the growing hormone works, telling your body you're full, because your body is using the reserve energy. Um, fasting is uh, not dieting, so I eat normal. It's minimizing uh, the frequency of eating killing uh, the snacking and uh, i've been doing this for almost um s actually for going to seven months now i'm doing i started with a uh, intermittent day fasting now it's a prolonged fasting so my fasting schedule are all right or is so uh, i i i start let's say uh sunday is my first day of fasting no saturday no no i'm sorry sunday sunday i don't eat the next meal i have um uh, no hold on uh, so the last meal is saturday saturday evening around six or seven and then the next day sunday i don't eat the whole sunday okay no breakfast no lunch no dinner and then i i go over monday normally monday i have breakfast but sometimes if i feel full and i skip everything monday and won't eat now until monday afternoon after work around five o'clock so that is uh, more than 24 hours about 36 30 to 36 hours which is pretty good and i have ketogenesis autophagy um yeah i can feel it and then tuesday fasting once again and then uh the next day is wednesday normally i have breakfast on a wednesday lunch and dinner and then right after my last meal on a wednesday then another prolonged fasting like now uh my last meal was wednesday like what i said five o'clock in the evening and then now it's a friday five o'clock and it's a 48 hour fast right so basically uh you will think when you stop eating are you autumn is your body automatically on a fasted state practically not yet it depends on your system as well as it depends on how much carbs and sugar you've eaten the less carb or sugar you've eaten more fats good fats and then you start fasting your body will wait for about and, you know, it depends about maybe six hours and then you are already in the fasted state because your body has to uh, consume the the carbohydrates and sugar before getting to the fats so if it's if it is heavy laden with with with, uh, with uh, carbohydrates and sugar then it will take longer before your body will be on the fasted state it's about 12 hours or more um i heard from the expert so um so if you're thinking about 40 hours it you're in my case uh six hours after my last meal is where i am in a fasting state so uh, no hunger it's just a uh, pure water once in a while i sip a cup of coffee black coffee nothing just coffee and then um and also sometimes uh my uh, tea green tea or I do have this uh, fasting tea that has chamomile, cinnamon, and among others. 
and uh, as long as there's no sugar and I don't take bulletproof coffee because it breaks fasting it has um, it has carbohydrates I'm sorry it has calories so if there's calories and your intent your intention is to have a prolonged fasting and to to experience the the effects of prolonged fasting such as autophagy um, uh, formation of the stem cells um, uh, slowing down agility ketogenesis providing uh, the essential ketones as uh, one of the main source of your brain as energy then prolonged fasting is good prolonged is uh, more than 24 hours 36 to 48 or so I've never gone more than 48 and that's my limit and others gone to three days a week or even 21 days I think I won't try that I am all right and uh, fasting is essential for me because uh, I do not have diabet diabetes I am predisposed because uh, my my grandparents have diabetes and uh, yeah so it, it runs in the blood so prevention is uh, better than uh, medication right so I'm preventing it so by uh, by fasting as well as uh, it is it reverses if you have it as well as uh, pre preventing uh, uh, fatty liver fatty liver is one of the first uh, indication that a person is uh, uh, is a candidate for type 2 diabetes you can uh, you you will be able to know that you are uh, have a fatty liver if you have a a uh, potty belly <laughs> and the good right it's is a subcutaneous fats so uh if the fats are uh, you know you 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 from, from the word itself lots of fats in the liver and then um, because of the uh excessive and frequent eating snacking and then high carbs as well as high sugar so it's better to do keto which is uh, low in carbs but high in uh, good fats so a keto diet fasting and keto diet is a good combination it depends on your goal though so if your goal is to lose weight so it's better to combine the two keto and uh, fasting and uh, exercise as well is important but exercise is not the is not the real reason why a person can uh, lose weight it's not all about calorie in calorie out counting calorie and uh, calorie is not actually uh, accurate so it's all about hormones which is the insulin so insulin is a fat storing hormone you got to ready to regulate that and that could be re regulated by by fasting right and uh, in addition to that uh, fasting is, uh, is a lifestyle and it's even my lifestyle and it's it's your own choice it's something that you can uh, stop and change it anytime you want and like what I said it's a uh, minimizing the eating frequency allowing your body primarily your digestive system to take a break because the God is always at work when we uh, when you practice the what would they call the sad diet sad is a standard American diet um, if you do not know what standard American diet pancake in the morning heavy laden with syrup slices of okay curled deep fried bacon cheese uh, uh, coffee with um, heavy laden with cream uh, or it could be uh, orange juice uh, people think that orange juice that's not freshly squeezed is uh, is good no no because it's fructose fructose spikes up your insulin and if and then you do have your snacks and then lunch and then snacks and then dinner and then you got a midnight snacks that's standard American dinner right hamburger and everything and lots of fried foods as well as uh, refined sugar and uh, preserved food as well as uh, non-homemade so yeah standard American diet a candidate okay for uh, fatty liver and pre-diabetes and also not forget 
it could minimize the chance of uh, uh, brain malfunction all right so this uh, uh, type 3 diabetes they call it, and that is the uh, uh, one of the brain uh, dysfunction that could that could lead to uh, um, Alzheimer's as well as uh, dementia all right so they uh, nowadays type 3 diabetes uh, is uh, con the, the dementia is now considered as a kind of a form of type 3 diabetes because the symptoms okay it leads to it okay the type the, the diabetes too could lead to dementia and uh, by fasting that can be minimized and i was listening to uh, to an uh, to a discussion okay this morning that as time passed by and the uh, the, the chances of earth okay, developing dementia is in is incre increases it's incrementally uh, related to uh, formation or development of uh, dementia uh, to as you ages so it can be minimized or possibly prevented okay one way to prevent is fasting and plus the type of food you eat all right here's Kikai resting okay guy there you go whenever I'm vlogging like this she's just quiet all right once again like what I said heading to Los Banos and uh, I'm loving living in Marina <laughs> I, in my other video, I mentioned that I sold my property here in the Central Coast. I've been uh, living here for 24 years, and I, and then, uh, but my official residence in Los Banos, I have a property there. So I decided to sell my property here, and it was sold um, almost a month ago. And now I'm, uh, I'm staying in Marina, which is in Monterey County as well and i'm living in a hotel right stay in a hotel it's been a month almost a month now and i'm loving it and kind of like kikai and i uh, living like a queen and a king yeah so i i love the simple life you know turning my life simple i didn't imagine that when i okay, before selling my home and i was um unpacking my goodness i thought i'm already a minimalist i'm not so my recommendation so whether you are in an apartment a flat or you own a home don't get a lot of junkies right i got a lot of junkies i didn't realize that so now i'm minimalized so minimalize okay. minimalism sorry so on the back you got my stuff so the only thing is that used to it's used to try help my to, from home to work now it's up for my one way that's all right i live uh, the hotel early in the morning and um, so traffic and in the afternoon the traffic is opposite the snow traffic as well and also another drawback is uh, driving uh, from Los Banos to, uh, to school to work on a Monday morning it takes about almost an hour and a half and that's all right the advantage is that I'm with my mom for three nights so it'll be good right yeah so all things are happening the way i planned and i thank god for it it's been planned and uh it happened the way i envisioned because of my prayers and uh, i saw my home on my own so i did not hire a real tour and i thought it was um daunting but it wasn't it's better to do it that way in my opinion based on my experience because I can uh, I can manage things the way I want as long as uh, I contacted to a reputable escrow company who helped me um, from from um, day one to the final day it was uh, it was close all right and yeah so once again uh, life is uh, excellent traveling is now arriving to a new destination it is a uh, looking at the world in a different perspective low battery give a smile and the world will smile at you cheers be safe bye and god bless